sure that our setup is good, okay? We finish how we start, all right? Now our shin angles and our spine angles are gonna be the two most important parts about this, all right? Making sure our shin angles are facing the direction we want and our spine angle are facing the direction we want and that we have deep shin angle and spine angles, okay? The reason why is because however your shin and spine angles are, most of your shin right here, right? If my shin is here, my body is going to be here within my first two steps. If my shin is here, my body is going to be here within its first two steps, right? And obviously this is better and what we want more than this, okay? When we stand straight up, wind's coming at us, we're going to our top end speed phase right off the bat, which is what we want. We want to try to drive out, push the ground away, right? Go into our, our drive phase and hold our drive phase to the best of our abilities. And how we do that is getting into a better angle. And how we get into a better angle is keeping and starting with a deeper shin angle and deeper spine angle, okay? So it's gonna be two point start setup. Okay, you can't really see, but I have my seam line on the turf that I'm gonna be using, all right? I'm gonna put my toe to the seam line, my power leg, and to find my power leg really easy, I'm gonna fall forward. Whichever leg I catch myself with is going to be my power leg usually, or just whatever leg you're usually comfortable with putting forward when you're racing your friends, right? Toes right on the line, putting my right foot back, Easy way to figure this out is going to be putting my toes to my, uh, or putting my, sorry, putting my knee to my toes, right? Also having my foot already flexed under, balls of feet already under, bam, so now I can just stand straight up. Okay, this is gonna be my two-point start stance. I also wanna make sure I'm just shoulder widths apart, not wide, okay? This is gonna make us start like this, Start like this. We want to keep everything coming straight and linear when we start, okay? So, again, toes on the line, foot back. I can check it real quick if I need to. Need to toes, bam. All right, now, spine angle is real easy. All we do is drop our chest down, keeping our back straight, bam, right? But my shin is still straight up, all right? Now I just need to lean in, come on the balls of my feet, Bam, get my, sp my shin angle facing the direction we want. Now when we start, our shin angle is going to deepen, okay? But to the best of our ability, we're gonna try to get as deep as we can. Bam, bam, arm set. When I start, I'm going to pull my arm back, chopping off my hip. And then opposite arm is going to be coming up, coming in the cheek, think cheek to cheek. Cheek vicinity, cheek vicinity, just like we talked about in our arm mechanics one. Bam. Bam, explode out. And that's gonna be our two point start setup, the importance of the two point start setup. Hopefully you guys understood everything. Um, again, important part, shin angle and spine angle, and then exploding out and bringing together all the form that we've worked on from everything that we just worked on, bring it all together like a puzzle piece.